what it takes. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, you've got what it takes to make it. Amen. We're living in times where there's trouble all around us. Amen. Heartbreak all around us. Amen. Trouble in the churches. Trouble in the family. Trouble in America. Just trouble all around us. But how many knows that every believer has what it takes to make it? Amen. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to make it. I, want, I, I just want to testify just for a minute. Amen. On my job where we work at, amen, I'm, hallelujah, they had these cards they filled out for people for Thanksgiving, amen, to uh, make them a basket. And, 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 you know, a lot of people put in people's names. Well, some I have to put in my name. Amen. And I went to thank my administrator and got emotional and started crying. And, amen, about a year ago, I had to borrow some money from my administrator to help my daughter with a lawyer. Amen. And I paid some of it back, but ain't got it, didn't have it all paid back. And amen. And I, you know, when I went to him to thank him, he said, Philip, I want to talk to you. Amen. He said, all he said, that money that you owe me, he said, I want to give that to you for a Christmas gift. Amen. And I said, You don't have to do that. He said, No. I don't have to, he said, but I want to. Amen. And tears was running down his eyes. Amen. But how many knows that the Bible said, hey, Amen, hallelujah, that the wealth of the rich, I mean, of the ungodly, was prepared for the righteous. Amen. Amen. Was stored for the righteous. Amen. Hey, amen. And you know what? I have witnessed to him. Amen. And witnessed to him. And I'm looking for him to be saved. Amen. Amen. He's a good hearted man, one of the best bosses you could ever want. Amen. And I, I just thank God. Amen. But if you have your Bibles tonight, turn with me to 1 Timothy chapter 1. Very familiar scriptures. Go to read verses 18 through 19. Amen. I do want to say that Tuesday night, amen, we're going to be preaching in Newtown, Ohio. Amen. At, at Pastor Robert Cox's. Amen. And then the 28th, we're going to be in uh, Indiana. And then the 3rd and the 4th, we're going to be in Cincinnati. Amen. But God is good. Amen, and, and I just love you tonight. I'm excited, and I want to encourage you tonight to let you know that no matter what you're going through in your life, that you've got what it takes to make it. Amen. And Timothy chapter 1, verse 18 and 19, if you have it, if you stand for the reading of the word, if you're able, amen. Said, this charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which, which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Look at your neighbor and say, war a good warfare. War. Holy faith and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith, have they shipwrecked. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. See that word in verse 18, that word commit. Amen. Look at somebody say commit. Amen. In the Greek, I like to know what words mean. Amen. So I can get the full meaning of what God is trying to say to me. Amen. See that word commit in the Greek, it means to deposit. It's a banking term, amen, that when you make a deposit, see, Paul was saying to Timothy, I'm making a deposit into you. Because Paul knew that his time was almost up. Amen. See, when Paul was depositing the responsibility to warn about false teachers, amen, I think today if there's ever a time that the preachers, the pastors, the teachers uh, warn people about false teachers we're living in that day. Amen. How it comes to rising up on every hand. See, Paul was depositing something in Timothy that was carrying him over. You know why all the young men uh, that used to sit in the churches, uh, you don't see them there no more. Because we don't have no Pauls to encourage them. We don't have no Pauls uh, to deposit into them. Uh, the anointing and the power of God. Amen. Telling them that they got what it takes to make it. You don't have to be big in statue or have a big name to make it in God. All you got to know that is if God be for you, who can be against you? If all hell rises up against you, God will bring the standard in Amen. She war has been declared by every enemy. And we are constantly engaged 
spiritual warfare. Shea means words and purposes, but they are also medals of honor. Huh? See, when you're in a war, you're going to get knocked down sometimes. 